All right, hey, he's been here. So uh, in this video today, we're gonna go install the uh, the Synergy BAC 8000 slash 4000 mount. Oh, I can see my controller is dirty too, so I'm gonna need to clean that first. Um, so I've got a couple of goodies to help install it. I've got some Loctite, okay, or some kind of thread locker pound pound, so this stuff doesn't come loose, and because uh, everything is mounted by clamps, okay. Um, and then uh, I've got this silicone heat sink compound right here, okay? Because it is the mount is a heat sink, okay? Over here in my garage, I've got all the goodies. I got some Allen wrenches ready just in case. I know we'll need them. And I got the I printed out the instructions right here from the website. I've got the heat sink mount right here. I've got the upper mount here. I got the side spacers here. I got the clamps here. I imagine we're probably only going to use four of the six clamps, okay? Uh, one, two, yeah, yeah, okay. So we'll probably the because uh, it's not as long as a eight thousand. So, so this is actually going to stick out a little bit, which is fine. Whatever. It's the only one they had in stock. So, okay. So uh, I think the first thing we should do is clean the controller because we're going to be mounting this plate to it. Okay. So, how what I'm going to use to do that is some alcohol. Okay, okay, First, so I'm going to start with the wet napkin right here, and we're going to clean the heat sink mounting surface here. So you want this to be super clean, okay? You don't want there to be any dirt because we're going to be applying a heat sink compound to it, and the heat sink needs to mount on it. So it has to be a clean surface, clean and flat. Okay. So I'm just using some just water first. There's just some kind of like mud and stuff on there. Okay. And then we're gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go. Some okay, alcohol. I got some isopropyl alcohol here. Now we're gonna go clean the heat sink surface with alcohol. Just to make sure there's no kind of oils on the surface. It dries fast too. Okay, so now that that's clean, uh, we can start uh, removing the controller from the bike. We're not even, we can't even install anything because we need to remove stuff first. Okay, so I kind of moved my bike a little bit. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to uninstall this uh, BSC 4000. So this is an ASI BSC 4000 uh, from Electric Race Technologies, okay? It has the uh, most uh, latest version of the electric race technologies uh, uh, 3D printed mounts. There's one on the top and the bottom, okay? Um, but we're going to, uh, we're not going to use them anymore. So, so the first thing that we're going to do is uh, we're going to uninstall two bolts on the top. Go to the tilt sensor. Okay. It might help if you move the horn out of the way. I apologize for all the vehicle driving down my block. There's nothing I can do about it. So. Okay. On the side, I have uh, I have these screws that mount to the the bottom mount, so I'm going to remove these also. There's also a spacer in there. Okay. So this, my spacer I use is a nut. Okay. So that's the screw and the spacer that I use. These are all, these are not part of the electric race technology stuff, hunting stuff. Okay. 
I'm going to go ahead and do the same for the other side. Okay, there's the other set of screws, and then these are the tilt sensors. I'm going to leave the, I'm going to try to install it with the controller still connected to the bike. Okay. So I'm going to remove the tilt sensor bolts here. We're, I don't think we're going to reuse them because they come with new bolts. Okay. Should kind of just hang in okay, place. So you see it's kind of free right now. So now what we've got to do is remove the old uh, electric race technology mounts from the bike. So my BAC controller has these kind of weird kind of bolts. They're 2.5 millimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove the mounts, but I'm going to put the screws back in, okay? I think that should be fine. Hopefully this will not require any kind of modification to the controller at all. Uh, unlike the Hades Omega spec uh, heatsink, requires that you grind some of the controller and drill holes in it. Um, that may affect uh, your ability to resell your controller if you're going to sell your controller in the future. You know. Okay, I'm just going to speed the rest of this video screws out. The easiest one to take out should be the bottom ones because there's really nothing, there's not much to them. It's just plate with holes in it. You know. Okay, so I've gone and removed the bottom mount. So, uh, so now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and put these screws back in. Uh, I don't have the screws that came with this controller. They were uh, just regular kind of Phillips head screws. And I returned it with my BAC 2000. So. Okay, so I tried to, uh, I, I had to put the screws back in, and they were a little bit longer, um, too long, so I had to go kind of re-tap them in the heatsink, okay? So that's what I had to do. Okay, so we got this off so far, and the controller is not mounted on the bike. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and remove the, the top mounts now. Okay, I've got the top mount out. There it is. Um, I had it on there for a short while, a couple months, and I don't see any real problems with it. It's pretty good. It didn't crack like my last one, so. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the um, screws back in. Okay, so uh, I got the bolts in there. I'm, I'm gonna have to move this into the garage because uh, this is getting dark.